Hello guys, welcome to Nigira Techies. This video, I am going to explain how to create PDF from .NET Core Baby API version 6.0. So here, I have listed out all the steps. We can go one by one. So the first step is we have to install this package polybiashtmlrender.pdfshare. So let me copy this command. Now in our application, let me go to this package manager console. So let me execute this command. So it will install the required packages. Okay, the installation gets completed. And the second step is we have to include these namespaces. The first one is PDF Sharp Core, and the second one is PDF Sharp Core dot PDF. So the final one is the art of dev dot HTML render dot PDF Sharp. So let me copy these things. I'm going to include here. Now I am going to create one action method. So before that, let me show you the sample output. So this is one of the invoice file. Okay. Let me back to the implementation once again. So the method name is generate PDF. So this one also have one input because we are going to generate the data in this dynamic manner. So initially I'm going to return null. Okay. Next I'm going to declare one variable for this PDF document. And the next we should have the HTML content. So initially I'm going to provide one static value. So we can have one, H one tag. Next I'm going to generate the PDF file. We can use this PDF generator dot add pdf pages so it is having three inputs the first one is our document the next one is our html content and the final one is page format so i am going to provide the page size a4 okay next i am going to use this uh, memory stream Then let me create the file name, okay? So whatever invoice number is coming, we have to use in this file name. And our file format is PDF, that's it. Now I'm going to return this file. So let me remove this one. So instead of that, we can use a return file option. So first our byte, so byte available in this response. And then format, so I mean the content type, application slash PDF. And finally the file name. So let me save this one. We can verify whether we are able to generate the PDF file. So once the PDF file is generated, uh, we can include our generating invoice logic. So let me run this application. So we can see this method generate PDF. I'm going to provide some dummy value only. Let me execute this one. Okay, we have this response. So let me download this file. So you can see, 
so we got on a pdf file so it is having only one text like a welcome to nigira techies so anyway our pdf generation is working fine next i am going to implement the logic for generating this invoice uh, for doing this one already i have uh, generated some html content i mean it's just a template only we can use this one so let me command the top of one so it is nothing uh, we have all the html tags only so you just to take one html file and you have to make your design so after that for every line you have to include in this string format only okay so it's starting from one div so inside that we have defined this header information and this table i have included some hardcoded data so let me take this one this html content so i'm going to change this one okay so hopefully it will work so after that we can fetch the dynamic data from our databases so instead of this static data we can change into the dynamic format okay so i'm going to run this once again you know so whatever invoice i shown initially the same thing only it's coming so let me change into the dynamic manner for making this into dynamic i am going to use the existing functions first i am going to use this header invoice header method header equal to so we already have a created method so we can reuse this one so we have this invoice number let me reuse it here so once we have this data i am going to check this null condition so this initial two lines we can have so i am going to move this header section so instead of this uh, invoice number this static value header dot invoice number okay and the same way we can change this invoice data also so let me remove this one header dot invoice date okay and then this customer name so header dot customer name and then this address Header dot delivery address. So next, this contact and email that actually we are not storing in this invoice uh, table. So we are supposed to get from our customer table. So let me complete this summary. We can use the same condition because we are storing these terms. So we can use this same header only. Okay, here. header dot summary total yeah it's a total only okay so let me copy the same thing i'm going to replace for uh, tax and in a total then this net total okay and this final one is this table so in this table uh, header section we can have like this and this t body i am going to generate dynamically i am going to call this services once again list invoice detail this dot score container get all invoice detail by code again we have to pass this invoice number that's it 
so in this tree body I'm going to check like not equal to null and the count should be greater than zero the condition is matching we can generate in this uh, dynamic manner first I'm going to generate on for loop we can have this one tier that's enough let me remove this one so the first one is item dot product code then this product name this one is quantity and the fourth one is price I believe it's a sales price yes okay the final one is total so let me save this one why it's showing some error yeah we have to use this await that's it I hope it will work anyway I'm going to put on breakpoint here let me run this application first I'm going to execute this invoice get service so here we will get the complete invoice information so let me take the first one Okay, it is executed we can see our HTML content first so we have this HTML content we can see in this HTML visualizer okay everything is coming like this so invoice number and the summary information it is having only one product I believe okay so let me close this one I hope it will work we can see the output anyway okay again I just generated so you know so invoice number of 001 next time I'm going to provide it to so we can remove this breakpoint again it's generated so you know it is having two products okay 200 and 230 is totally 430 then this tax and net total so that dynamic value only it's coming and you see this uh, customer name and this address also and the final test I'm going to provide INB that means this uh, invoice number basically it's not exist so we can check what is the response okay so we are getting this sample template only right we don't have any data so in this case uh, we can provide some other messages also it's all about the customization so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel and one more thing the same service I'm going to use in angular application so in my previous videos I have created on uh, invoice generation application so there I have provided uh, edit and delete uh, functionality so for adding this one I'm going to provide on a print option so once you are click this print uh, I'm going to call the same service and I will generate this PDF and I'm going to display it so that's what my plan once I'm completed my angular video that link also I will add in this description so you can expect mostly within one or two days thank you thanks for watching